Hello, and welcome to the first episode of As Seen About Three, where we take about three minutes each week to fill you in on what's happening at Southeastern. I'm your host, Rachel Gowan. And I'm Ava Christopher. This week, we will cover school updates and events, like what crazy names students think the Panther mascot should be, and a combination of crowns and cattle that you wouldn't normally picture. Now let's get straight to it. In our first segment, we surveyed students as to what they thought the name should be for our Panther mascot and received several interesting name ideas. What do you think the mascot name should be? I think it should be Pete the Panther. Bill the Panther. Greg. Jerome. Patrick the Panther. Polly. Panther. P.P. Jones. Lions. Bob. <laughs> Scott. Tony the Tiger. Big Blue. Wow, the Lions, Tony the Tiger, and Pete. What do you think of these names? Leave your suggestions in the comments below and be sure to like, subscribe, and share our channel to stay up to date on what is happening at Southeastern. Now, on to our student spotlight. In this week's student spotlight, I talked to Rachel Morgan about becoming the newest Hereford Queen and her plans are for the future. Here's what she had to say. Usually you wouldn't picture crowns and cattle together, but in our senior spotlight, they fit perfectly. Rachel Morgan, after many years of showing cattle, has won the crown of Hereford Queen. We talked to her about her journey towards winning this cattle crown. How did you gain the title of Hereford Queen and when was it given to you? I had to fill out an application, but before all of that, I had to be currently showing in the Ohio Hereford Association group. I had to be of a certain age and I've had to have experience with cattle and have a family farm that I'm connected to. And it was given to me uh, a few weekends ago at the uh, National Ohio Hereford Banquet. What is required of you as the Hereford Queen? As the Hereford Queen, I have to attend shows all around Ohio and the National Hereford Show, which this year is in Louisville, Kentucky. What has been your biggest advantage or takeaway from showing cattle? I have gained worth ethic and I feel like that will really help me in the real world whenever I find a job in the ag industry. So you mentioned you wanted to work in the ag industry. How do you plan on pursuing that? I am attending ATI Wooster, which is a branch of Ohio State, for two years, and my major is going to be Ag Business. As you can see, Rachel Morgan has had a long journey to becoming Hereford Queen. We can't wait to see what she does next. We wish Rachel the best of luck in her future plans. From Southeastern Video Journalism, I'm Rachel Gowan. Rachel Morgan has worked hard on her road to success, and we wish her the best. And we also hope our students are just as successful as they participate in this week's upcoming events. And coming up this week, there will be weightlifting each day in the morning and after school. See Mr. Blair for more information. Economics class will be selling stocks all week. See an economics student or Mr. Davison if you're interested in purchasing a stock for $2. Also on Tuesday, there will be ACT testing for juniors in the morning and spring sports pictures will be taken after school. On Thursday, there will be Bible study at lunch at room 227, Mr. Grimm's room. And wrapping up things for the week, there will be a baseball scrimmage on Friday the 18th at the VA Memorial Stadium as the Panthers take on Wellston. On Saturday the 19th, the girls will play a softball scrimmage at Portsmouth West. So be sure to find something to get involved in this upcoming week. As you can see, next week is jam-packed with events that you should look into. If you enjoyed this week's student showcase, make sure to check out the whole video on our YouTube page at Southeastern Video Journalism. And again, be sure to like our channel so you don't miss our latest content. Thank you for watching SC in about three. See you next week.